Today we also are able to remember St. Isidore, uh, a layman whose wife, Maria de la Cabeza, or Torribia, is also a saint. And so uh, it's wonderful that uh, John Paul II was looking for couples, married couples, as examples of holiness. So keep that in mind. Farm laborer associated with miracles, patron of Madrid, of farmers and rural communities. And so <clears throat> when, when uh, he was a farmer right there in Madrid, Madrid did not exist. It was only a farm there. And uh, when uh, Christopher Columbus sailed, uh, there, there was practically no Madrid either. He came from Toledo, was the capital of the world. And so right there, that, uh, 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 his farm uh, in Madrid was simply a far farm. So it was not Madrid yet. So there we have St. Isidore, and since we already celebrated his uh, uh, rural mass, <coughs> uh, we already uh, had celebrated here in the diocese. But uh, what a coincidence that we're talking here about uh, in the Gospel of uh, Jesus uh, reminding us to take up our cross. Or remember St. Teresa who would say either to suffer or to die, the cross. And so this is what we're celebrating today, uh, remind us to look, uh, our, our lot, our, the, the, the cross itself. And so we have, uh, uh, so Rachel uh, and her family uh, undergoing this moment that this kind of uh, uncertainty of other child. So let us then remember them so that they may receive the joy uh, of, the, of the resurrection, of the joy of the Christian who is always under the, uh, uh, under the way of the cross, uh, but with the joy in the hope of the resurrection. Let us then continue with, uh, with this liturgy and praying for those. Also remembering um, uh, Tony, as uh, we are saying goodbye to her, also give her our gratitude and thanks and joy. Enjoy. Thank you.